What will our song be? One more time, hallelujah. sight of all the people. What day is today of this conference? For on the third day, the Lord will do what? He will come down tonight. Let's remind God of the scripture that he has given us and ask him to do exactly what he has promised to do. Are we ready to pray? Say, Father, my Father, this is the third day. Please come down just as you have promised and manifest your power. Father, this is the third day. Please come down as you have promised. Come down tonight. Manifest your power. Power to save, power to heal, power to deliver, power to provide. Power to promote, power to preserve, manifest your power. Prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, just as you have promised, we are ready. We are ready. Let them be ready for the third day. Pray as if you are ready. Pray so that God will know that you are ready. You are ready to be blessed. You are ready to be lifted. You are ready. You are ready. You are ready to be healed. You are ready to be delivered. You are ready to be made whole. You are ready to be free. We are ready. We are ready. Marika keko to libra deya. We are ready to be preserved. We are ready for divine promotion. We are ready. We are ready for divine intimacy. We are ready for divine lifting. We are ready. Tonight is the third day. Thank God that you are ready. You are ready. You are ready. Everyone that Jesus Christ healed. Somehow we ask them if they were ready for the miracle. Are you ready? Do you think I can do this? Do you think I can do this? Are you willing to be made whole? It's like asking them all the time whether they were ready. Your readiness is evidence of your faith. Your readiness and confession of readiness is evidence of your belief. Blessed is he that believe, for there shall be a performance. Of all that the Lord has spoken concerning her, Luke 1 45. Tonight, oh Lord my God, I am ready for a divine encounter. Your church is ready. House on the rock is ready. Our children are ready. Those who are even worshiping online, they are ready too, Lord. Please come down as you have promised. Come down tonight. Manifest your power. Malike kutoli bradeya. Reke zuria ba makuri mokotoya. Le du gaba libre ne ketoria vakasata. Come down, O Lord, and manifest your power. Come down, O Lord, and manifest your power. Come down, 
enemies be scattered. Tonight you are going to pray. Say, Father, Father, arise in your power. Arise in your fire. Let your enemies be scattered. Your enemies, sicknesses, poverty, oppression of the devil, captivity, infirmities, delay, barrenness, they are my enemies. They are your enemies. They are the enemies of God. Oh God, arise in your power. Let them be scattered in the name of Jesus. Prayer. I command them to scatter by fire. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. He says, I will be an enemy to your enemy. I will be an adversary to your adversary. Pray tonight. Every demon sickness, every demon infirmity, every demon of delay, of oppression, of barrenness, tonight, let God arise. Arise, arise. Arise in your power. Arise in your power. He took up a libre gede liga de riavarus kataya. A yege de remoko shata. Ha! Arise, O oh God! Let the enemies of your church be scattered. Let the enemies of our children's destinies be scattered. Let the enemies of our marriages be scattered. You spirit of divorce, you spirit of separation, you spirit of insubordination, you spirit of argument, you spirit of discord and discontent. In the family, in the homes, in the marriages. Tonight, we command you by the word of the Lord. As the Lord arises on this third day, be scattered, be scattered, be scattered, be scattered. Mashakatala bagade, reke kotoli brakasata, malike kutoli brakataya, dedebo, resulia bakataya. Ah! Holy Ghost arise in your power. Holy Ghost, arise in your power, power to deliver, power to save, power to deliver, power to save. Holy Ghost, arise in your power, Holy Ghost, arise in your power, Holy Ghost, arise in your power, power to deliver. Power to save, power to deliver, power to set us free. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Power to deliver, power to save, power 
said you are going to live with that sickness for the rest of your life. Tonight, God says it is not so. I'd like you to come forward. The enemy said to you, you will live with that condition which is not of God. It's not palatable to you. That you will live with it for the rest of God. Tonight, God says, no. It will not be so. The enemy said, no, you will not enjoy your comprehensive health. That you just have to live with it. But when Jesus says yes, who is there to say no, you cannot enjoy divine help. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Power to deliver. Power to save. Power to deliver. Power to set us free. Holy Ghost arise. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Holy Holy Ghost arise in your power. Power, power to deliver. Power to save. Power to deliver. Power to set us free. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Enemy said that you know nobody starts building projects in your family and completes it. The enemy says to you, What do you why do you think your own will be different? God will silence the enemy tonight. Come forward if you are the person. God bless you. Come forward. Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night. Holy goes around in your power. Holy goes around in your power. Power to deliver. Power to save. Power to deliver. Power to set us. Holy goes around in your power. Holy goes around in your power. Holy goes around. enemy said, don't you know this is what killed your mother? This is what killed your grandmother? Don't you know the auntie had the same symptom and the problem started the way your own has started? That's what the enemy said. But God said, na lie. Say na lie. If you are the one, come forward. That is changing tonight. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Power to deliver. Power to save. Power to deliver. Power to set us free. Holy Ghost arise in your power. One of the couple that we set up a parish for the planted a church a few years ago. They are my children in the Lord. One Sunday morning, his wife ran to my parish and said, Daddy, I've come back to source. I said, what happened? She was scared. She was afraid. She said, I've been having this issue around this my side of my stomach for weeks. 
See, Daddy, see how I've been losing weight. Been to the hospital. They are still carrying out checks. They are still running tests. They've just taken something now. They said they want to do it has be, they want to do biopsy. It's become as serious as that. They are suspecting this. He said she said, and she was sweating and shaking and weeping and crying. She said, Pastor, Daddy, that was how the problem of my grandmother started. That of my mother, that was how it started. My immediate senior sister, that was how it started. They are all dead. This is what this is what the enemy is doing in our family. I said, Shut up! Shut up your mouth. I said, that's what the enemy said, but God is saying it is not so. Not so. Don't say that again. I said, what am I going to do? I said, whatever you have is an infection. It will clear within three days. It's a simple infection. I bastardize any big name they've called your sickness. I nullify it tonight. I cancel it tonight. In the name of Jesus. I said three days it will clear. Two weeks time, go for your next appointment. They will find nothing. She went back, they found nothing. This was before COVID, three years ago. This afternoon, she sent me a test to remind me of her conference. She has started women's ministry, a conference that is about to take place. I said to myself, when I saw her reminder, I said, this is what the enemy wanted to stop her from accomplishing so that she will not fulfill her destiny. Tonight on this altar, any generational sickness, ancestral sickness, sickness defying medical healing and solution. Hear the word of the Lord. Jeremiah 30, 17. Jeremiah 30, 17. For I will restore it to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. Who says so? Who says so? I repeat the word of the Lord. For I will restore earth to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. Says, says, Psalm 107 20, he sent his word. His word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. With Holy Ghost fire, I send these capsules of the word of the Lord. In Psalm Jeremiah 30, 17, the word that cannot fail, the word that will never return to him void. Right now, on this altar, health is restored to you. Health is restored to your body. Health restored to your soul. Health restored to your spirit. Your wounds are healed. Your condition is healed. Your discomfort is healed. Your pain is healed. In the name of Jesus. You will not live with that sickness. That sickness must leave you. We reject it in the name of Jesus. No vacancy for that condition. In the name of Jesus. If it has defied medical solution, it cannot defy divine solution. By the power of God with whom nothing is impossible. Luke 137. I cause the root of that sickness, that condition, in the name of Jesus. After the order of the fig tree that Jesus Christ caused and died from the root. From the root, I command that condition, that pain, that diabetes, that arthritis, that hypertensive condition, that eye problem, that back problem, that waist problem, that demonic dreams and nightmare, that incessant trouble around your neck. 
Ikatoya, that problem on your right leg, the one on your feet, Itoria Makataya, the palpitation of the heart, Ezulia Varus Katabali Gedeya, the many, many conditions that they've given many, many medical names to. I cause them at the root. I command them to die. They are evil plantation, which my heavenly father has not planted in you. Right now, let them be rooted out. 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 Let them be rooted out and be destroyed. And be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. After the order of the woman with the issue of blood, Malika Ketoria Vakataya, she connected with Holy Ghost power and fire. And the Bible says, the foundation of her issue of blood dried up. Whatever be your own issue, Issue of the blood, issue of the breast, issue of the womb, issue of the feet, issue of the bones, issue of the nervous system, issue of the throat, issue of the mouth, issue of the brain, issue of the backside, ovarian issue, reproductive issue, any issue whatsoever, Malike Kutoriaba, by the foundational power of God that caused and dried up the foundation of the issue of blood right now. Let the foundation of your own issue, let it dry up. Let it dry up. I command it to dry up now. In the name of Jesus. It is written, I shall lay my hands upon the sea and they shall recover. Malika Kotoria Bakataya. Oh Lord, that watches his word to perform me. I ask on this altar as I lay my hand on your children, as your son, the priest of this house, lays his hand upon your children. Lord, arise, perform your word, confirm your word with signs, with wonders, that you may take the glory, that your children may testify to your power. To your wonder, your power to heal, your power to save, your power to deliver, your power to make whole. In the name of Jesus. And whatsoever I ask in his name, it shall be done. These have asked in your name, oh God. Father, do it now. Now. God of suddenly, do it now. God of immediately, do it now. In the name of Jesus. God of even now miracle. Even now that they've told your children they will live with, him, with, with, with that sickness. God of even now miracle. Show up. Appear. Manifest. Give them their even now miracle. John 11. Give them their even now miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Father. As we are singing that song we'll lay hands on you. Go back to your seat. And God watch him. As he performs his word. I'm coming now to lay hands on you. And pastor, we also join me. We'll do it together. In two, three minutes, we'll be done. Once my hand has touched your head, just go back and be thanking God. In your power, Holy Ghost arise. In your power, Holy Ghost arise. In your power, power to deliver. Power to save. Power to deliver, power to set us free. Holy goes around in your power. Holy goes around in your power. Holy goes around in your power. Power to deliver, power to save, power to deliver, power to set us free. Holy goes around in your power. Holy goes arise in your power. Holy goes arise in your power. Holy goes arise in your power. Power to deliver, power to save, power to deliver, power to set us free. Holy goes arise in your power. Holy goes arise in your power. Holy goes around in your power. Holy goes around in your power. Power to deliver, power to save, power to deliver, power to set us free. Holy goes around in your power. Holy goes around in your power. 
Holy Ghost arise in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power to deliver power to save, power to deliver, power to set us. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Holy Ghost arise in your power. Shout hallelujah. Shout glory. Shout thank you, Jesus. It is done. Put your hands together for the healer, our deliverer and our savior. With long life, it will satisfy you. With healthy life, it will satisfy you. In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. God bless you. You are risen. It's the third day. You are risen. You are shining. You will not come down. Jesus rose on the third day. Did he come down again? It did it. And so tonight, you are risen. And you will not come down. <laughs> I said you will not come down. Instead of you to come down, fire will come down. <laughs> eh? Rather than for you to come down, what will come down? <laughs> so point to yourself. Say not me. But fire, fire. we come down. Come Say it again. Not, Not my children. children. We come down. Fire. But what? Fire. Let's say again. Not me. Not me. But, fire. but fire. We come down. Fire. That's the title of tonight's sermon. <laughs> I will prove it to you in a minute. Follow me together to read Second Kings chapter one. 1 to 12. Quickly, Second Kings 1, 1 to 12. Moab rebelled against Israel after the death of Ahab. Now Ahaziah fell through the lattice of his upper room in Samaria and was injured. So he sent messengers and said to them, Go, inquire of Bazebub, the god of Ekron, whether I shall recover from this injury. But the angel of the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria, and say to them, Is it because there is no God in Israel that you are going to inquire of Bazebub, the God of Ekron? Now therefore, thus says the Lord, You shall not come down from the bed to which you have gone up, but you shall surely die. So Elijah departed, verse 5, And when the messengers returned to him, he said to them, Why have you come back? So they said to him, a man came up to meet us and said to us, go, return to the king who sent you and say to him, thus says the Lord, is it because there is no God in Israel that you are sending to inquire of Bazebub, the God of Ekron? Therefore you shall not come down from the bed to which you have gone up, but you shall surely die. Verse 7. Then he said to them, what kind of man was it who came up to meet you and told you these words? So they answered him, a hairy man wearing a leather bed around his waist. And he said, it is Elijah. The teach by it. Then the king sent to him a captain of 50 and his 50 men. So he went up to meet him, and there he was, sitting on the top of a hill, and he spoke to him. Man of God, the king has said, come down. So Elijah answered, answered and said to the captain of 50, if I am a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume you and your 50 men. And fire came down from heaven and consumed him and his 50 then he sent to him another captain of 50 with his 50 men. And he answered and said to him, man of God, thus as the king said, come down quickly. So Elijah answered and said to them, if I am a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume you and your 50 men. And the fire of God came down from heaven and consumed him and his 50 men. Say it with me again, not me, but fire will come down. Holy Spirit, please breathe upon your words. Confirm every word tonight with signs and wonders. Take all the glory, my Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. There are three levels that a person can go in life. Three levels. How many levels? 
A person is either going down in life, going up in life, or going nowhere in life. Going nowhere in life is a position of stagnancy. A man was like that for 38 years at the pool of Bethesda. John chapter 5. He was going nowhere. One level. There are people who are also always going up and rising. One level. And there are those who are always going down even from an elevated position. Tonight, you will choose one class and that's the class you will belong to. You will be going and instead of you to come down, what will come down? Aha. Aha. In school, a child can either go on to the next class progressively or be asked to repeat a class. We've seen a few cases where a child is also asked to go back to a class that he had gone through before. That is, not just repeating a class, but dropping down from the class. That's going down. As a result of the war between Russia and Ukraine, in the early days when the war started, a couple of months ago, some Ukraine medical students, some students who are schooling in Ukraine, including many Nigerians, they fled Ukraine. Some of them got to Germany. Some got to Romania. And they sought admission into medical schools, in universities, in Germany, in Romania, and all that. And some of the universities that agreed and took them in actually asked them to go down through the 200 levels in their own universities. So if someone is already on the 600 level in Ukraine University, as a result of that relocation, they asked him to come down 200 level and come to 400 level. So that's levels in life. Either going up, stagnant, or going down. So in every destiny, you are either manifesting progressive upward and forward movement or retrogressive Backward or downward movement or a stagnant and stationary position in life. It's a tragedy of life. It is an evil under the heavens that there are people who belong to all three categories. It is an evil under the heaven that there are people who remain in the category of going up and making progress. And no matter the wind and the storm of life, they remain up there. In the name of Jesus, by the chariots of fire and the chariots of Elijah, by the power of resurrection that lifted Jesus Christ on the third day and he was not permitted to come down again. Tonight, you will join that class. I said you will belong to the stars that are raining upward in the name of Jesus. And that brings us to the story at hand. The story of Elijah the Tishbite that we have just read. A prophet who was asked by his enemies to come down. And the man said, no, this is my station. This is my office. In those days of old, and we see replica of them in our days, prophets of old dwell in the mountains. Yes. That's their office. That's their business premises. That's where they operate from. That's their own comfort place. It's a place of the mountains, a place of seclusion. They learned that from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Bible says oftentimes, Jesus Christ will be alone. He will go to the mountains. And he will pray all night. A mountainous Christian is a synonym for a spiritually loaded person. Oftentimes when we say, oh, we are on the mountains, we are talking of spiritual exercise, of fasting and prayer, isn't it? So the office of the prophet is the mountain, his station, his domain, his territory, his habitation. They feel that they are more connected to the broadcasting station of heaven 
when they dwell and stay on the mountain. They are free from distraction, from obstruction, from the noisy life and world when they are in the mountain. And that was where Elijah was. He was in his office. And the enemy said, he should come down. Many of us, all of us, are in our mountains. One mountain of life or the other. It could be your business. That's where you are. That's where you operate from. That's where you feed yourself and your family from. Amen. Like the beautiful, nice, or lovely office of one of us that I went to today. And we spent 90 minutes of wonderful time. That's his domain. That's his place of oppression. That's where his gift and talents are given expression. That's where clients and customers will come and meet him. Elijah is obvious. Is where those who need consultation, who wanted to meet with God, we come to. And in that office, in that station, the enemy is saying to you, come down. Kilo maso. <laughs> It could be your store, your shop, your business premises. It could be your ministry. The pulpit that the Lord had given you to minister to his people from. Any arrow of the wicked targeting your pastor or any man of God or minister of God or child of God that stands on this altar. Wanting them, wanting us to come down. I command that arrow to backfire now. And return to destroy the sender. In the name of Jesus. Your mountain could be your consulting room. As a medical doctor. Where you see your patients. Could be the hospital where you go to work. And then the enemy begins to lay a trap for you there. That you should come down. It could be your matrimonial home. Your marriage, the marriage of a woman, the matrimonial home and bed of a woman, that's our office. That's our place of oppression. Sometimes I refer to my wife, call her the minister for internal affairs. I have to say yes to 99% of whatever she recommends as far as the home is concerned because that's the minister in charge of that place. I dare not interfere. I do so to my own detriment. And my peace, which I don't want any detriment to affect at all. So that's her domain. She moves as she likes in that home. She knows how to take care of guests when they come. I don't know how to. And any power asking her to come down from that domain, let fire come down instead. Your marriage is your pride, your place of pride, your place of glory. The Bible says a wise woman builds a home. Do you see it in the Bible that a wise man builds his home? He is the woman. The wise woman builds a home because her home is a mountain. Her home is a domain. Her home is where she is a constituency. Any power that wants to scatter your marital constituency, I command fire to fall. Any power attacking the marital constituency of your children, those that are already married, those that will also be happily married, let fire fall in advance. Could be the educational institution of your children. Where your children have enrolled into. To start a course of study. They have a time, a period that they must spend there. Going to classes, receiving instruction, doing exams and passing with flying colors. And one bastard coming in. Maybe with one weapon in his hand. Or one problem or one lecturer or one troubler of destiny. Wanting that child to come down. In the name of Jesus. Your children will use them as carpet to walk over. They will fall flat for your children. In the name of Jesus. They will come bending at the feet of your children. In the name of Jesus. No child that came out of that womb of destiny will come down for any adversary. 
Instead of your children, my children coming down, what will come down? What will come down? Shout it, let fire come down. Thank you. I love you. Are you getting some understanding from this? Beloved, if some of us should come down a little bit, reduce, decline a bit, whether morally, financially, matrimonially, otherwise, it will be disastrous. There will be mockery. There will be insult. The enemy will throw a party. Nitori no mugani adura. Inda lia varus katebre neketoya. Yetu kalabraga de lebre ne mokotoya. Rasuta yadaba. Ikrando libre nekete ya. Any power from your father's house waiting to celebrate your downfall. They will fall flat while you remain standing strong in the name of Jesus. Shout is a father. Father, let my mountain stand strong against the will of the enemy in the name of Jesus prayer the mountains of my enemy the mountains of my children the mountains of my family the mountain of my ministry my Zion let my mountains run strong let my mountain stand strong against my enemies against my adversary let the mountains of my children stand strong masokotoya le brakata Atu kapalike deya, la braga de gede rebos, rekuto ya laba, mandolo bosa, reketo libra kataya, ayayayayaya, rakataya, it is written, Psalm 30 verse 7, Psalm 30 verse 7, Lord, by your favor, you have made my mountain to stand strong, oh Lord my God, by your favor, make our mountains to stand strong, to stand erect, to stand impregnable, to stand indestructible, to stand invincible to the powers of the enemy. Make our mountains to stand strong. In Jesus' name, we pray. Be seated. The enemy will throw a party if there is any form of reduction. Psalm 30 verse 1. Psalm 30 verse 1. Hence the psalmist says, I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. God will not permit your foes to rejoice over you. For it is the Lord that has lifted you up. Who has lifted you up? Who has lifted you up? And the one that God lifts up, no power can bring down. I will exalt you, Lord, for you have lifted me above my enemies. Your banner over me is... This month, the lifter will lift you up. Only the one that is lifted is free from the mockery of fools. Psalm 38, 16. Psalm 38, 16. For I said, hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me when my foot slippeth. They magnify themselves against me. I love the original translation. The original translation. Do you know the original translation of that scripture? You don't know it? Boom me. Do what? I'm happy that many of my mothers are here tonight. That's why I'm encouraged to pray because I've seen great mothers in the last past three days out there in this church. And you are blessed when you have mothers. You don't know the covering over your head in this church. Mothers like our mommy that celebrated her 80th birthday. I've seen many of that kind of anointing in the last three days. That's why this church is too covered. To be coveted by the enemy. Bow me. Hey, hey. Ki ma ba yo. Ni ba ti ese mi ba yo. Hear me. Lest they rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth. I pray tonight. 
the feet that carries you in and out will not sleep. Olua onijako ye in the name of Jesus. The footsteps of yours that destiny helpers here and they open doors for you wide. I pray for you. Ah, your footsteps will not sleep. The feet that walks you into abundance, into promotion, into divine provision. In the name of Jesus. The footsteps bang it on the floor. That make the enemies to tremble at your appearance. Those footsteps will not sleep. In the name of Jesus. The feet that you are using to climb to higher ground, it will not sleep in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. The foot, feet of your children will not sleep in the name of Jesus. Everywhere they go, all over the world, the feet of our children will be like ice feet. They will walk upon the mountains. They will walk above the valleys. Say not me, not my children, but fire will come down. Be seated. Because some people did not reply the messengers of the enemy when they were being called to come down, they have suffered dire consequences. Satanic emissaries have been sent to people in their dream, in their waking moment, in their places of work. Everywhere. From their foundation. As they are singing and singing to them. Making altar call at them. You are too high. Decline. Demote. Dissipate. Depreciate. Decrease. Reduce. But in the name of Jesus, there shall be no reduction. I said there shall be no reduction in your businesses, in your finances, in your membership, in your economy, in your marital job, in your children's breakthroughs, in your children's success. There shall be no reduction. Every cause of Reuben operating in any family, 10 generations backward, I cancel it tonight in the name of Jesus. Moses said, in canceling the course of Genesis 49 over Reuben, Deuteronomy 33, 6, Deuteronomy 33, hundreds of years, Babato course God had died several hundreds of years ago, but his descendants were suffering. They were reducing. Pastor, they couldn't stay on the mountain. Their father had answered to the altar call that said he should come down. I mean, Kinemini, thou shalt not excel. Kosik be galon jebe. And so they were reducing the Rubenites. They were the firstborn. But they were living life as the lastborn. They were reducing. They were decreasing. Hundreds of years after. Until Moses said, Let Reuben live and not die. And let not his men be few. Listen to this. Reduction is the beginning of ridicule. Decline is the beginning of death. Let Reuben live and not die. And let not his men be few. He took that word to reverse the cause on the Rubenite. Rise up. I have seen generational reduction in people. 
everywhere from that family line who see me, they can struggle and walk out or walk out and climb the ladder to a point. Before you know it, they start bringing them down. They start bringing them down. And they will beg in their old age. Even if they live old, they will. Those who have been princes before, you suddenly discover that they are now like servants walking. They have asked them to come down from the horses that they were riding in their prime. They turn 50 in their 50s, you see them reduction. And it became a pattern in the family until one of them fought the kind of battle that we are fighting tonight. One of them fought that battle and he won the battle. And he became a rising star that can never come down again. Some people have reached a level in life because God and they can't come down. You will get to that level. So every generational cause, every inherited cause of reduction, of declining in my family tonight, blood of Jesus, blot it out in the name of Jesus. Prayer. Maraboko toliaba kasata. Rakatala branigedea. Reke kotoli brakasata. Maliga de gedea. Rebroko shantala vandea. Mano bere mokoto. Masuta la bragadea. Reke toli vrakasande rebomokotoya. Nano zono libre negederia varaskate. Le du gaba li gedea. Ravagazakata la vragade. En no lo moko shantaya. Brenuke to liava ruskataya. Reverse it, reverse it, reverse it. Blood of Jesus, blot it out, blot it out. Blood of Jesus, blot it out, blot it out, blot it out. The cause that says nobody succeeds in the family. Tonight, let the blood of Jesus cut it off, cut it off. Blot it out, blot it out, blot it out. Malika ke kotori brama kasete ya andala baba. Reke to livra kateya. In Jesus' name, we pray. Every power from your father's house, say over their dead body, will you rise and shine? Let their own prophecy come to pass quickly. In the name of Jesus, you will rise. You will shine. They will go down for you to keep rising and shining. In the name of Jesus. Be seated. The tragedy of African heritage is the ministry of going down, of decline and reduction. Haven't we seen big, big businesses in Africa reduce, decrease, decline, go down gradually until they die and fizzled out? How many businesses in my country can you say are survived for 50 years? For 100 years? Unlike in the Western world. Many of us are familiar with T.M. Lewin, T.M. Lewin in England. I see many of our brothers wearing T.M. Lewin shirts. It's a shirt company in England. I think the company started in 18-something. Almost 150 years ago. And it's the name of one man, T.M. Lewin. He started as a tailor. Tailor to be machine is a jika. Tama fisizos ba. Just as we have in Africa. Oh, what did they call it? A jika ni shop, thank you. That was, T Mr. T.M. Lewin was a jika ni shop. Mr. T.M. Lewin was a jika ni shop in London there. 150 something years after. T.M. Lewin is still there. At Jeremy Street. He started the Jikani shop at Jeremy Street. The shop is still there and it's now all over the country. All over the country. That's just one. Max and Spencer are names of people. Barclays is the name of a person. Now let's travel to Africa. When we were in university, <laughs> my brother, Covenant brother, will remember when we were in Ife. Once we are going to the next level, law class, before resumption, 
there was a popular bookshop there in the Badon. I won't mention the name. <laughs> what did I request? There was no law book in the world that you are looking that you will not find in that bookshop. Be if of activities when we're about to resume, the place will be filled. Cars of, you know, you know parents of well, or, uh, wealthy parents of law students parked outside. Chemistry students, science students, philosophy students. There is no book you are looking for in the world that you will not find in Obishote bookshop. Where is the bookshop today? And I can go on and on. Even the ones that migrated from the western world to Africa, they brought it down. Where is King's West Hall? Where is UTC? Where is Leventis? Where is Bata? Where is Aswani Testers? Where is Nigerian Brewery? Where are they? Where is Pojo in Kaduna? No, Nigerian Brewery is getting dis virtually dismantled. Go to Ikeja, where it is. They are relocating to Ghana. Oh, that's Guinness. Guinness <laughs> Yato. Whereas Guinness is still thriving in Ireland, where it came from. Pojo, Kaduna. Paper mills. Where are they? Witchcraft powers have brought them down. Household wickedness brought them down. Vagabonds in power, VIPs, brought them down. Polygamous warfare brought them down. Management wasters have brought many of them down. Household powers. They told Samson, Judges chapter 15 verse 12. Judges chapter 15 verse 12. Look at NIV. They said to Samson, it's all people. We have come to tie you up and hand you over to the Philistines. They did everything until they succeeded in bringing something down. <laughs> his own people, a man's foes are those of his own household. Where are the big names and the big companies they started? Where are they? You can begin to think of them. Big names. Even some of them who, who made their money legitimately. They <laughs> They illegitimize their wealth and destroy it. Destroy it. You can't point to their descendants who took over their businesses. If some took over the business, they will kill them and kill the business. They will ask them to come down. If you have been experiencing any form of reduction, decline, in any area of your life. Tonight, we arrest the hand of that enemy. We cut it off from your life. You will reply them tonight. I refuse to come down. Listen to me. They wanted Jesus to come down one day. They wanted to throw him from the cliff. Luke chapter 4, 29 to 30. The Bible says he escaped. That's the way the Bible says. He escaped from the hands of those who wanted him to come down. I pray for you. After the order of my Lord and Savior, you too will escape. Your children will escape. You will escape from destiny vandalizers. You will escape from star killers from your father's house. You will escape by the blood of escape. By the blood of the Lamb. You will escape Paul escaped. You too will escape. In the name of Jesus. Patronage has become low in some businesses. Some careers. Attendance has dropped in our churches. The pandemic too has caused many people to go, to go down. But tonight, let fire fall. And consume every Down syndrome demon. Every Down syndrome demon, let fire fall, including the plague, including the famine, including the recession. Every Down syndrome demons, let fire fall and destroy them in the name of Jesus. For some people, the enemy is calling your head to come down. Strength is being reduced, made smaller and weaker. Yet, the Bible says, as your days are, so shall your strength be. 
So why is it not so? Is the enemy asking strength to come down? But tonight, the equation will change. I said the equation will change. Powers that are calling you from hero to zero, they will die for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me wrap it up so that we pray two or three prayers before we go. Revelation 4 1. Revelation 4 1. After these things I look, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me, saying, Come up here, and I will show you things which must take place after this. A door open in heaven. And the voice said, Come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Go in the name of Jesus. Ah, a voice is coming forth upon this Mount Zion as on the rock tonight. And that voice is saying, Come up higher. Come up higher. Therefore, I decree over you, children of God, the level you are now shall be the lowest ever. It shall be the lowest ever. You will never go beyond this level. The only option for you is to obey that voice. And that voice says, come up higher. Say that I am coming up higher. Say it again. Say it again. Say it one more time. Spiritually, you will go up higher. Financially, you will go up higher. Matrimonially, you will go up higher. Professionally, you will go up higher. Ministerially, you will go up higher. In the name of Jesus. By the special grace of God, all the days that I've ever known your pastor, or going to 40 years now, it's always been going up, up, up. Psalm 133, the oil flows from the head. The oil of going up and going higher and never reducing and declining that is upon your pastor. Connect with it. Connect with it. Connect with it. Connect it. Connect with it. Connect it. Connect with it. Connect it. Connect with it. Set forth your hands at him. Say, I connect. 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 In the name of Jesus. No reduction. No decline. A joke. Are we still together? That's how I am stubbornly committed to your progress, to your breakthrough tonight. Let me give you, because I want you to be angry enough to pray like Elijah. So I will limit it to just one more example. We'll be done. Nehemiah chapter 6, 1 to 5. Let's open to it together. Nehemiah 6, 1 to 5. Give me 10 minutes, I'll be done. Now, it came to pass. When Sambalat and Tobiah, Bobo Sambalat and Tobiah, from wherever, you will see their judgment. Sambalat and Tobiah, and Geshem the Arabian, and the rest of our enemies, what for God need? And the rest of our enemies, when they heard that we are going up, when they heard that I had built the wall, and that there was no bridge left there, what they have heard, they have heard that you are destined for greatness and they are not comfortable. They have heard that your children are destined for greatness. They are not comfortable, but they can't do nothing about it. Do at that time, I have not set up the doors upon the gates too. That Sambalat and Geshem sent unto me saying, come, let us meet together in some one of the villages in the plain of Ono. <laughs> but they thought to do me mischief. And I sent messengers unto them saying, I am doing a great work so that I cannot come down. <laughs> I am doing a great work so that ah, no, 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 me, fair NLT. Give me New King James Version. Or KJV. Give me the original. KJV. Give us the original. And I sent messengers to the same word. I am doing a great work so that. Why should the work cease? Why should the bookshop die? Why should Kingsway die? Why should the business collapse? Why should the ministry pack up? Why should the work cease? While I leave it and come down to you, 
Ah, you will not leave your marriage to come down for the enemy. You will not leave your marriage to come down a divorcee. You will not leave your marriage to come down a single mother, a single father. Why will you leave it? You will not leave that project. You will not leave that project. You will not leave it uncompleted. It is written you will build houses. You will inhabit it. You will build projects. You will inhabit them. You will not build for another to inhabit. You will not plant for another to reap. You and your children will live very, very long to eat and enjoy the fruits of your labor. In the name of Jesus, it is your divine heritage. Why? Should the work cease while I live it? Listen. Yet, number four, yet, see how stubborn the enemy can be. That's why you two must be stubbornly committed to prayer and fasting and spiritual warfare. Yet, they sent unto me, how many times? Four times. After this sort, many they kept on repeating the same thing. So, Kale say, calm down, calm down. They put incantation in their mouth to even say, calm down. And they calm down. So, they were stubbornly unrepentant, committed to bringing him down. And then, verse 5. The hand, you didn't stop. Yeah, they sent unto me four times after this one, and I answered them after the same manner. <laughs> That's how it is. That's how it is. If they fight you, fight them back. <laughs> one brother went to meet his pastor and said, hey, every night, every night, I mean, if, 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 I just keep on having, my, my, you know, hiring a boy. They, they, they are just firing me from everywhere, firing me from everywhere. Fire on me, you know, and uh, he's uh, the landlord of my house. And I hear that that's how he manipulates destinies of tenants. He just, guru, 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 guru. the pastor said, You two go and fire back. You two go and stand at the door. They live in the same building of your landlord and begin to fire. He did that for three days. The landlord came and said, Please. Please, please, I want to give you money so that you leave my house. If they fire, you do what? There is something they call fire for. In fact, like pastor said, double fire for their own fire. For it is a good, righteous thing for God to recompense tribulation for they that trouble you. It is double fire for their fire. I answer them after the same manner. Verse 5. Then sent some balatins his servant unto me in like manner. Uh, the fifth time with an open letter in his hand. They've been saying it verbally. They now wrote both their voices and their letters. Let fire fall. I say, let fire fall. Elijah replied, told them two things. One, I refuse to come down. Two, if I be a man of God, let fire come down. Which is to say, not me, but fire will come down. Nehemiah told them five things on all the five occasions. Number one, I am doing a great work. Say it. Number two, I cannot come down. That's all that. Number three, the work I am doing will not cease. That is God's assignment for me. Will not stop. I will not die before I fulfill and complete all my destiny projects on earth. And they are great, too. they are mighty. They are not small. They are not little. They are not few. Number four, he said to them, I will not leave or abandon my destiny project. I've said that with you. And number five, he said to them, my hands will complete the good work that it has started. For the hand of Zerubbabel and laid the foundation of this house. His hands will also complete it. They sent unto him four times. And he answered them the same thing four times. Let me share this testimony and we pray. 
A man was removed from being commissioner in a state government many years ago. And another man was appointed to become commissioner. And the one that was removed, a renowned and notorious fetish man, feared by many people, he vowed. He said, ah, they removed <laughs> Erubudu and put another one there. Let us see how that one will be able to sit on the chair where Erubudu was taken, was brought down from. Unfortunately, that one may be a nominal Christian. Doesn't understand spiritual warfare. I'm sure if the person was here and we are preaching like this, say, what's wrong with them now? He said, let them just let me take communion and go out of this place. Rubudo gave him three months to come down. And within the three months, he came down. He came down, and the coming down was never, never to rise again. He died. Yes. He did not answer back by saying, not me, but fire. Let me tell you a second testimony. This one on the positive side. When we acquired our church property about 12 years ago, we had got the largest from where we used to have five-year lease to virtually half of the street. Of course, we courted so many adversaries. A new, newly refurbished building spent thousands of pounds to refurbish it, apart from millions, to buy it. And then next door, they have built a six or seven story build, block of flats. This is a new auditorium, new building that we are started enjoying. And then there was this character on the top floor that started by throwing tomatoes. As our people are going to church, the, whoever the character was will throw tomato stop it in front of them. Sometimes the tomato will eat them, scatter their clothes, and they will return home. Then from tomato, the person graduated to apple. and started throwing apple. Then the last straw I broke the camel's back. One Wednesday, we are come, our people were coming, for, and people were getting afraid of coming to church. I prayed. I fasted. Nothing was changing. But the one that really caught it were coming for Bible study on Wednesday, and this dragon of a Sambala to buy her. Now threw a stone. Oh yes. And the stone hit our sister right in this region on her chest. She started bleeding. All this time that it's been happening, we've reported to tenant association, we've reported to police. The police said, except we suspect or catch anyone, there's nothing they could do. I said, okay. So when this one happened, Ah, I remember Nehemiah. I said, ah, they want us to calm down. It happened on Wednesday. I called my prayer warriors. We started fasting from that Wednesday night. On Sunday, we came to church. We finished service. At the end of the service, I gave them five minutes charge from what has been happening. And I told, this is the altar of Victory House. OJ knows the place very well. It's his, it's his home. And the building is on that side. So this is the altar. So I told the congregation, I said, 360 degree, turn around. So they turn around. I said, point to that direction. And I said, begin now. That any power saying that this church should come down, now come down down. Fire. Come down. We prayed for about 50. People prayed with only anger. Boiling anger. Intercessors have been fasting for three days. Non-stop. No water. No food. Prayed with boiling anger on Sunday night. And I felt the breakthrough in the heavenly. I told the church, it is done. We shared the grace and we left. I stand here. A liar will not go to heaven. 12 noon the following day. Tonight, the God of 24 hour miracle will move over that case. 12 noon on Monday, I was in the office. Pastor Wally called me from my office. 
He said, Pastor, Pastor, Pastor. I said, What? What? Is everything okay? Is everything okay? He said, Outside, 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 outside. He got to the outside. He saw ambulance. He saw police vehicle. He said, What's going on here? And right from the top floor, they brought something down on a stretcher. Whatever they brought down, they did not cover that thing halfway. They covered the thing fully. You know what that means. I don't know which arrow returned to the sender, but what I can say to you on this altar tonight is that that incident never happened again. It is at least 11 years today. It never, nobody ever, fear came upon the neighborhood. It has never happened again. Because the one that tried it, Ekini Kede, Ikiji Kede, Eleketa, Tomato, Apple, Stone, over, rise up on your feet. The Lord kill it and he make it alive. Jesus Christ said, OJ, all those my enemies, who says I should not reign over them, bring them further and slaughter them. The Lord lifts up the humble. He casts the wicked down to the ground. Psalm 147, verse 6. Give thanks to the Almighty God. The glory and the lifter. Choir, help me to sing that song. The glory and the lifter of my head. Oh God, oh Lord, I the lifter. The glory and the lifter of my head. Oh, the glory and the lifter of my head. The glory and the lifter of my head, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, fresh from me, the glory and the lifter of my head. Lift up your voices, beloved, say, blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost, fire, name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost, fire. The name of Jesus. Fight my battles tonight. In the name of Jesus. Fight the battles of my children. Fight, 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 fight. Blood of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. The name of Jesus. Fight my battles tonight. libra kataya. sitaya. Rakika parike kotoya. Le tu la branike de riamarus kataya. E to la vragade. Le tu rabakashantayana. Fight my battle tonight. Me to livra nika rabakasataya. E tu kalia valandele bomokotoya. Remosh mando bregedelia. E tu kalavrande remokosuria bamakata. Aguda lavrande gede ribro no mokotoya. Resutalia. Valiga de remokotondo libra negedea. E gariba kasa. Rekuta le avraga de le brodomo kotoli abakataya. Marakashata. In Jesus name we pray. You will call your name say I Adeleke Sanusi. I Adeleke Sanusi. I Adeleke Sanusi. Tonight I speak to principalities and powers that see as you come down. I will not come down. I will not come down. I reject it. I shall not reduce. I shall not decline. I will not come down. In the name of Jesus. Prayer. Speak to them. Speak to the enemy at the gates. Strength shall be given to you. As you challenge the enemy at the gate. Don't let the gate of hell prevail. Powers. Asking me to come down. I reject your altar call. I will not come down. Adeleke Sanusi. 
I will not reduce. I will not decline. Me o sokale. Moko. I reject it. Na roke to liava kasataya. Ma degede rebos. Marakata. Le dokoto liaba kataya. My business will not come down. My career will not come down. My marriage will not come down. My health will not come down. My destiny project will not come down. My ministry will not come down. My children will not come by. It down. We will not come down. Rakata liaba kataya. Le doge de libro no mokoto liaba. Adeleke is my name. My crown must stand at the top. I will not come down. Ne tuka paraboso toria. Inolomo shataya. Vrakaziteria marusata. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, you are going to call the name of your business. You will call the name of your enterprise. You will call the name of the work of your hand. You will call the name of your church. You will call the name of your spouse. You will call your children by name. You will call them loud and clear. And you are going to shout it as you call their name. You are not coming down. You will not come down. You will not come down. Oh, ni jabo. Oh, ni sokale. Call your name. Call the name of your business. Call the name of your company. Call the name of your children. Call the name of your spouse. Call the name, house on the rock. You will not come down. Victory house, you will not come down. On Mabalanle, you will not come down. Oluato Bilaba, you will not come down. Oluato Misi, you will not come down. My destiny will not come down. All the body will not come down. We will not come down. Marita Keko Toyanda. We will not reduce. There will be no decline. There will be no reduction. No bankruptcy in the name of Jesus. You will not come down. Every grave of untimely come down. Dug by the enemy. He that diggeth a pit shall himself fall into it. He that rolleth a stone. Let the stone roll back to them. My children aren't going to come down. Never. Never. Forward ever. Backward never. Upward ever. Backward, downward, never. Forward, ever. Backward, never. Upward, ever. Downward, never. Mareke Kotoya. Ebrakasata. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every satanic power. Say it to me. Or to my loved one. Come down. In the name of Jesus. Be roasted by fire. Prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Tumor. Say, if I be a child of God, if I be a child of God, every power, if I be a child of God, if I'm standing on us on the rock, tonight, every power challenging the promise of God for my rising and shining, and the rising and shining of my family members right now i call them fire be wasted in the name of jesus be wasted be roasted by the fire of the holy ghost if i be a child of god if i'm standing by the mercy of god here tonight at house on the rock if i'm connected to this church to this commission malikateya by membership by friendship by family relations. Oh Lord my God. Every power. Challenging the promise of God. For our rising and shining. The rising and shining of our children. Oh fire. 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 
Come down. Come down. Mama, 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 mama. Rakata la bragade. Endolo mokotoya. Rabozo tolia varuskata. Endolo shata lavande. Ketuka pa libra negede. Reto to libra gazitea. Levra zuli avaruskata ya. Malivra negede ria varusate. Entolo boshita lia varusata. Brakuta lia vadeya. In Jesus name we pray. Pray this last one with Holy Ghost anger. Say every plague of affliction. Every demon of hell. Assign. To bring me down. To bring my marriage down. To bring my family down. To bring my business down. To bring my ministry down. To bring the economy of my nation down. To bring me down spiritually. Economically. Financially. Ministerially. Oh every demon of hell. Assign to bring me down. What are you waiting for? Receive fire and die in the name of Jesus. Fire them. Don't spear them, brother. Don't spear them, brother. Pray, brother. Pray, brother. Reko sotoya. Le bratoya. Manolo shataya. Vragazi keteya. Metokete livradeya. Atulaba makile gedeya. Enno romo shatayande. Le zubra gada livre neyande. Rakata kata. Le toria bama kurimo kotoya. Le zubra nazunto lobo riketeya. Le vranda la braga de gedeya. Rasata. Braga de gedele bronomo kotoya labas. Malivra ne gedelebo. Shatala vadi gedeya. Reto livra gazete. Etuka la brande le gedo ribro no mokoto yana. Fire fall and consume them and destroy them. Let fire fall and consume them and destroy them. Retuli ava makuri moko shata. Le zubra gada like re mokoto ya. La preno godo ribre ne kesuto ri abakata ya. Enno lo mo shata livra de gede re mokoto ya. Oh, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. We pray. I pray for you on this altar. Stretch forth your hands towards the altar. After I pray this prayer for you, I will ask you to do something. Then after that, I will pray again. Oh, Masuli Avarai ke koto libra ne gedeya. Jagada bali gederia boko suntoriana. As I was talking about businesses that they brought down. There are five of you here. God took you back down memory lane. You saw the businesses that, whether your grandfather or your father started, that will have become a, gener a gen transgenerational business, that will have prospered. Maybe it was cocoa business. Maybe it was some plantation. Maybe, you know, I see palm trees and all that. You just had a flash, memory flash, as I was speaking. So about four or five of you here. And you say, wow. Wow. So this greatness could have been the portion of that business that we took for granted in the family. But polygamous witchcraft brought it down. You are here. Raise up your hand. If I'm talking about you. You had that flash. Memory. You went back memory lane several years. It was something that never crossed. But tonight, the Holy Spirit just just to your, your memory that, ah! Just like the man who planted good seed and they came at night when men slept. When men slept in the family. Daddy slept. Granddaddy slept. They slept in the arms of polygamous Jezebel and Delilah. And they brought it down. In the name of Jesus. It is written, the ransom of the Lord shall return. That glory that was stolen from your family the heritage that the enemy stole, it is written that the time has come when the Lord is about to restore the glory of Israel as it was before the enemy plundered it. I pray concerning the glory and the stand, the destiny of those families tonight. That glory as it was before polygamous witchcraft, before foundational witchcraft, plundered it. That glory shall be restored. 
that glory shall be restored. That glory shall be restored. And after the rest, God will double the restoration. In your lifetime, that glory shall be restored. In the name of Jesus, the Almighty God will use you as the Joseph of your family. In the name of Jesus, you will leave transgenerational glory behind you. In the name of Jesus, your children will inherit glory. Your children's children will inherit glory. In the name of Jesus, you will not come down. Job 5, 19 to 26, he will deliver you in six troubles. In seven, no evil shall touch you anymore. In famine, God will redeem you from death. In war, he will redeem you from the power of the sword. You shall be eaten from the scourge of the tongue of Sambalat and Tobias. You shall not be afraid of the arrows of destruction, for they shall return to the sender. You will laugh at the enemies asking you to come down. You will walk over them like your red carpets. You shall not be afraid of the beast of the heart. The demonic beast asking you to come down. They will be afraid of you. Strangers will flee from their hiding places in your life. You have a covenant with the stones of the feed. They will fight battles for you in the name of Jesus. The beast of the feed shall be at peace with you. You will know that your tent is in peace. You will visit your dwelling and nothing will be missing there. We also know that your descendants shall be many. They will not reduce. They will not be few. Your offspring shall be like the grass of the heart. You will not be in a hurry to go down to the grave. Powers calling down to the grave. Let the grave consume them. In the name of Jesus. You only come down to the grave at a full old, good old age. Full of riches and honor. Fulfilling your long number of days. Seeing your children's children to the fourth generation as a sheaf of grain that ripens in the season. The name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. A loud amen. A louder amen.